Okay, so a couple more pieces of equipment that I highly recommend you get. First up is a funnel, and a lot of homebrew shops will sell these. This is a basic plastic one, food grade, easy to clean, lightweight. Uh, this is used primarily for putting your beer into a carboy. So for example, let me grab a carboy. You know, you get your narrow neck right here, and you know, to avoid spilling, pretty simple, right? Put your funnel on top. Now another piece of equipment that you want and that might not be included in most kits is a strainer. Uh, especially brewing with hops, you know, hops get everywhere. Now I do recommend you use a hop bag that kind of helps contain the hops in the boil so you know you don't get as many bits of hops all over the place in your boil and you know it's really a mess to strain out. Uh, but inevitably some hops will get through even if you use hop bags. And so this is a pretty fine mesh on it. Most brew, you know, homebrew shops will sell these uh, about five bucks a piece, maybe ten for a nice one like this. And the mesh on it though is very fine. So you could, it's the same thing, you know. You could get one at a department store, you know, a kitchen type store. Um, you want a really pretty fine mesh on this though to get out those little hop bits. And something you want to try to do is try to get one that's going to fit your funnel. So this fits just perfectly like that. I'll zoom in here. So you see, you know, it, it's a perfect fit. Beer goes right in here. And if you see, you watch the end-to-end -end brew videos, you'll see when I do transfer the beer into the carboy, I do use this exact filter. I'm sorry, this filter here, the strainer, uh, and this funnel. And it gets out any bits of hops and malt um, that the hop bags didn't catch themselves. Okay, so again, two pieces of equipment that uh, I highly recommend you get.